All day I have been feeling the excitement of this evening. Not sure if anybody else is in that same space. But I just have this very special, special feeling that something is about to unfold tonight. Something is about to unleash tonight. Someone is about to break forth tonight. And my spirit is so excited. Good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever across the world that you're at. My name is Felad Rotoe, and it is such an honor to welcome you to day 23 of our 50 night assignment that was given to me by God when I was seeking his face, asking him, what would you have me do towards my 50th birthday? He said to me, my son, give me 50 days. I said, Lord, what do you want to do with 50 days? He said, give me 50 days of impact and 50 nights of worship. And tonight is day 23 of our obedience. And we really want to just thank God who has sustained us from day one all through till day 22. And now night number 23. Oh, what a precious joy. In two nights, we would have gone half the way of obedience. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't know what your thoughts are about what is going on, but one thing that I know is what God said. And God said to me, my son, tell the people to write down everything that they want and lay it aside in the place of worship. He said, when these nights are over, tell them to go and look at their list and they will see what I have done. The second thing that God said to me is that I am going to do something that is an impossible miracle to them. Now, when I find, try to figure out what do you mean an impossible miracle, he said, even if I told them what I will do, they will not believe it. Because in their mind, it is impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. And when I tried to find a scriptural back into this, I, I did discover that, yes, <laughs> for God is able to do exceeding abundantly, far above and beyond that which we can ask, think, or imagine. Meaning that if at any point in time we try to figure it out, it should have been impossible. And so as we lift up our voices in worship as we lift up our hearts and our spirit as one the god of impossible miracles will come and dwell in our space in our lives our careers in our homes in every aspect of that which we concerns us now i know that there's somebody who needs an impossible miracle not for yourself but for somebody, I don't know whether it's a health scare. I don't know whether it's a health report. I don't know what it is, whether it's a debt report. Some debt that has to be paid by a particular time. I want you to know that the God of impossible miracles is here. So I ask you, if you would, join us as we worship him tonight. And to lead us in that worship is a truly precious an anointed daughter of God, Oreolua Clark. And immediately after Oreolua Clark leads us in worship, you will hear the apostolic voice of a woman of God in whom there is no guile, Christy Bature, the president of Sinequanon Ministries. I want you to please just connect with us deeply tonight as one people. Let's lift one voice to our God, one God, one spirit with one purpose, to worship him, to pray and bless our nation, Nigeria. Please welcome Oreolua Clark tonight. We worship you, God, and we honor and we enthrone you. Can you just lift your hearts, lift your hands, 
lift your whole body and worship God this moment oh father we give you all of the thanks we give you all of the praise for you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be adored you are worthy God you are worthy you are the king of glory you are the king of kings and the lord of lords who is like unto thee jesus who is like unto thee jesus with one voice with one heart we worship receive all of the glory receive all of the honor god you are worthy worthy of adoration worthy of all my worship worthy of all the honor i am throne you i am throne you i am throne you i am throne you there is none like you jesus there is none that can be compared unto you jesus i've seen the works of your hands and they are mighty i've seen the works of your hands and they are wonderful they are marvelous <laughs> who is like unto thee jesus who is like unto thee jesus who is like unto thee jesus you is like unto thee jesus hey can you just lift your hands any way that you are lift your voice in worship oh, oh. Receive all the glory, God. Receive all the glory, God. Receive all the glory, God. Your children are worshiping and honoring you, oh God. Come and abide with us, oh God. Come and receive all of the honor and praise, Jesus. Oh God, I abide us. Make sure you are lifting your voice. Holy are you, Lord, in all creation, they call you God, hey, and worthy. Is your name? Oh, we worship, we worship your majesty. <laughs> holy, holy, are you God? And all creation, they call you God. Oh, worthy is your name. We worship your majesty. You are awesome, God. How great thou art. You are God, mighty are your me. Miracles we're standing on on your holy name, Lord. We bow and worship you. Hey, can you bow and worship God? Bow and worship, bow and worship, bow and adore him, bow and honor him, bow and honor him. He has been so good. He has been so kind. He's a faithful father. He's the loving father. Oh, there is none like unto you, oh God. There is none like unto you. Hey, who is like unto thee? Oh, God, who is like unto thee? Oh, God, among the gods, who is like you? You 
the glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. Oh, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. Oh, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. You are wonderful, God. You are wonderful, God. You are wonderful, God. The whole of creation adores you. Oh, the whole of creation adores you. The whole of mankind adores you. We bow to your authority. You are supreme above all. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. And we bow and we worship and we honor in reverence, in adoration. We honor. We honor. We honor. We honor, we honor, we honor. Hey, oh, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. Oh, who is like unto you? Oh, Lord, who is like unto you? glorious in holiness you are fearful in praise always doing wonders hallelujah you are here before time began you are the creator of time and space oh we adore you oh God we adore you Doing wonders, doing wonders, always doing wonders, hallelujah, always doing wonders, hallelujah, you are Alpha and you are Omega. <laughs> We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. You are Omega. We worship you, our God. You are worthy. To be praised, we give you the glory. We worship you, our God, our God. You are worthy to be praised. <laughs> We give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. One more time, we give you honor, God. We give you honor, for you are worthy. We worship you, our God, for you are worthy to be praised. Let praises rise. 
inside. Hey, come from the inside. Hey, stir it up of me. Come feel my heart, God. From the inside, stir yourself up. Come on, from the inside of me. inside of me cause all I want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted high all I want my God is for you for you to be It's for you, for you to be low, to be lifted high, believe all I want is to hollow you. Lift your heart in worship. Lift your heart in worship. Lift your heart in thanksgiving. Lift your heart in heart. Oh, it's for you. It's for you. For you to be glorified. For you to be lifted. All I want is for for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, oh my God, all I want, that's all I desire, is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. to you in worship and in honor God oh, all I want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted I, all I want is for you for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. 
We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you. We adore the name of Jesus. We adore the name of Jesus. We adore the name of Jesus. The name of God. The name of both every other name. The name of God. We adore the name of Jesus. We adore the name of Jesus. Oh, we adore the name of Jesus. Come on. Oh, we adore the name of Jesus. Oh, we adore the name of Jesus. Hey, we adore the name of Jesus. Oh, we adore the name of Jesus. For you are worthy, God. We adore the name of Jesus. For you are worthy. We adore the name of Jesus. Hey, we adore the name of Jesus. Oh, we adore the name of Jesus. Oh, we adore the name of Jesus. Oh, we honor the name of Jesus. We honor the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. Come on. Oh, we honor the name of Jesus. We honor the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We honor, we honor the name of Jesus. We honor the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. Hey, we honor the name of Jesus. We honor the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. Oh, we enthrone you, God. We enthrone you, God. We enthrone you, God. We enthrone you. Come on, sing with me. Oh, we enthrone you, God. We enthrone you, God. We enthrone you, God. We enthrone you. Oh, you have no rival. And you have no equal. Now and forever, God, you are the King of Kings. <laughs> Your sister, King. Nothing compares to this. 
Come on, lift your voice, pray in the spirit. Greatly to be praised, oh, greatly 
to be praised. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Come on. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Is he your father? Come on. Father, you reign above everything, God. Father, you reign, oh, Father, you reign, you're my Father, Father, you Father, you reign, hey, oh, you reign, Father, you reign, yeah, Father, you reign, oh, Father, you reign, Father, you and you rule, oh God. You reign and you rule, oh Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega, creator of the universe. Who is like unto you? Who is like unto you? Who is like unto thee, Jesus? Who is like unto thee, Jesus? Oh, who is like unto thee, Jesus? There's no one like you, Jesus. Nobody great, nobody great, nobody greater than you. Hey. <laughs> I've searched all over, oh, nobody great, nobody great, no, nobody greater than you. Oh, sing it with your heart. Enjoy it. Nobody great, nobody great, no, nobody great, no, nobody greater than you. Oh, hey, hallelujah, praise God. Nobody, nobody great, nobody great, no, nobody greater than you. Can you keep singing? time oh nobody great nobody great have you seen anyone like him nobody great no nobody greater than you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. nobody 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 great no all over couldn't find nobody <laughs> I've looked high and low I still couldn't find nobody nobody great <laughs> nobody great no nobody greater than you you are Yahweh you are Yahweh Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Oh, can you sing that song? Oh, nobody greater, nobody great, nobody greater than you. You are your
sickness if you're watching from anywhere that you are just tap in tap in and prophesy call him healer because that is who he is that is who he is tap in tap in receive your healing in the name of Jesus receive your healing in the name of Jesus lift your voice and call him healer Give your voice and call him here. That's you are here. 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 Do as you wish. Do what you want. Do your will, oh God. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your power. Kaduni and Amakabayashita. We surrender, oh God. Just rest, rest. He is Father. He is Father. And you have a powerful Father, a magnificent Father, one that is incomparable. Can you call him Father? Can you call him Father? Call him Father. Call him Father. Call him Father. Call him Father. That's who I I call you Father, 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 because that's who you are. I call you Father, I call you Father, 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 Father. That's who you are. Can you just rest and trust? Rest and trust. You are amazing, God. You are worthy. 
You are worthy, God. You are worthy. Can you sing along with me? Oh, you are worthy, God. You are worthy. Hey. You are worthy, God. Ah. You are worthy. Come on. Oh, you are worthy, God. You are worthy. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, God. Hey. You are worthy. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. faithful to your word how you regard us oh how you love us how you love us father you may great are you God and greatly to be praised greatly to be praised Father, you reign. Great are you, God. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, for you first loved me. You loved me first. Even before I was born, before I was formed, you loved me and you still love me. And you have promised to always love me. 
Lift your hands and worship God for his love. He is great and mighty. And we are just small, but he regards us. He regards us. Oh, how he loves. Oh, how he loves. There is no love like this. There is no love like the Father. There is no love like the Father. There is no love like yours. Far I spoke a word, you were singing over me. Yeah. Oh, uh, you. You have been so, so good to me. For I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. Oh, you have been so, so kind to me. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Chases me down, fights still up, found and leaves the night, the night. I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Thank you. No mountain will climb up 
God, we will light up coming after me. There's no lie you won't tear down, wall you won't kick down, coming after me. Hallelujah. 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 Instagram, you're joining me. I'm joining Feladuro Toyi, celebrating his 50th birthday and giving worship to God over Nigeria, worship and praying. So I'll be praying over Nigeria in a little while. I'd like you to join me if you've joined me on Instagram. Join me to pray as I pray with Feladuro Toye and his 50th birthday. He's having 50 nights of worship to the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no mountain he won't light up. There's no shadow. There's no mountain he won't climb up. No shadow he won't light up. No lie he won't tear down. No wall he won't kick down. Coming after us. Hallelujah. He comes after us. He loves us. He won't give up on us. He won't throw us away. If you've joined me, pray in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit for the next few seconds. La koshi te kerebo shi te kabradi shi prodoshi ke pradesh ke prodoshi ke pradoshi ke pradashi da prodoste lege demo shi ta pai ke sani ke sula da si ke pradesh ke pradoshi ke la roste ke radishi da pradashi lande se ko na sapa ni ke rusha ta la shi prodoshi ke leste pradoshi ma koredi ke sapa po na shatali za bruku da shi ke da pradu sa pradesh ke desto robodoski. Indolosa pradi ke de musha ka paru de she ka pradi sholosa pradu ka ba 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 ba. Pradi ka mashi talaru su ku prada ka she te pradu ku su prada ka she te pradu ku su tu pradu ku bo 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 bo. Lade no sokotoro bado ku she te ka prada ka pradu ku she te ka pradi ka po pradu du she krede mu she te ka li pradu se pradi she te pradu se ka e. Li ka bono she te ke mo se ke te bo 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 she ke te bre ke de oso bo bo ro she ke te bre du se pradi ka she na na oso bo ro se ke de she bre du se ke la mi mu she ta he na ro ku su na da no she te ne bo zo so per ke ne mi she ke le baru se ke ta le mo zo ku toro bo do ski in de le so pradi sha pa lo se pradi je ke de oso ma ka to lo bo se ke de she pra du se ka pra du she pra da ba begin to speak over Nigeria. Begin to pray over Nigeria. If you've joined me on Instagram, this is what my segment is about. We're praying over the nation. If you cannot pray in the spirit, if you cannot pray in tongues, pray in your understanding. Make pronouncements over Nigeria right now. Is the land of the Lord. Nigeria belongs to the Lord. Nigeria is the Lord's. No one is Lord over Nigeria except the Lord. The Lord of hosts, Jehovah is his name. We speak his lordship over the land of Nigeria, we speak his rulership, we speak his leadership, we speak his power, we speak his life, the life of the Almighty over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Reke bo shata kabarika soto brodo sheka bradiske de bada baba baba baba. Nika satoru bo sheka baba 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 baba. E kalabasoto prodo ko bo 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 bo. Neke sete bradash ka baba baba baba. Li katarusa pradash ka bo. Rabade seke bradosh ke baba baba baba. Speak over Nigeria, people. Speak over Nigeria. Le kasatoru mono ko sheke te bradiska la bradosh ke le pere ke deskaludus ke le baba baba baba. Uh, as I began to pray over tonight and ask God where to go with the prayers, I heard two words, align and adjust, align and adjust, align and adjust. And I looked up the word align and he says to bring into cooperation or agreement with the cause, to bring into cooperation or agreement with the cause.
um, and then uh, to improve the response of to improve the response of something or of someone. Hallelujah. I looked up the word adjust and I saw to change something so that it fits or corresponds or conforms and to put in good working order to bring to a proper state or position and then to settle or bring to a satisfactory state so that parties are agreed in the result. And I like the last one. It says to adjust means to systemize. So I want you to begin to intercede for Nigeria and pray and ask that God will cause Nigeria to come into cooperation or agreement with his plan. And Nigeria will no longer be walking at a tangent, walking at an angle or walking a, 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 a perpendicular to the plan of God, but in tandem with the plan of God, that Nigeria will improve her response to the callings and the promptings of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we speak over Nigeria. We ask that you bring Nigeria into cooperation and agreement with your cause, an agreement with your plan, an agreement with your direction, an agreement with your pronouncements over the land. We pray, oh God, for Nigeria that she'll begin to improve her response to you, improve her reactions to your commands in the name of Jesus, that we'll come from where we are to a better place in agreement with you, in response to your instructions, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Nigeria that she begin to change so that she fits and corresponds and conforms to your calling, to your assignment, to your decree over her in the name of Jesus. We decree that Nigeria is changing. She's fitting in. She's corresponding. She's conforming to your plans and your purposes in the name of Jesus. We decree that Nigeria is coming into good working order, that Nigeria has been brought to a proper state or position, oh God, to do your will, to enforce your kingdom on the earth. We pray and decree that um, Nigeria begins to settle and she comes to a satisfactory state so that parties are agreed in the result of the, of the, of the agreement that they're coming into. Father Lord, we see the dissension, the divisions, the, 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 the breakings, oh God, the, 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 the contentions in our land. And we decree, oh God, that Nigeria is being brought to a satisfactory state. All the chaos, we silence it. All the, all, all, all the arrows that are flying, we shut them down and we decree. They find no mark. They fall lifeless. They fall without power. They fall without a mark in the name of Jesus. All the daggers that are drawn, we command that every sword that has been drawn be sheathed right now. Every sword goes back in her sheath. Nigeria is settling. She's been brought to a satisfactory state, oh God. Oh, Lord God, we also decree. That to adjust means to systemize. We begin, oh God, to decree over the systems in Nigeria. We see, oh God, how systems just crumble. Once they are set up, they crumble. We see how systems, oh God, do not last. We see how systems have not governed our society. And we begin to decree over Nigeria. Be systemized. Adjust. Be systemized. Let your systems come alive and let your systems last. Let your systems be strong. Let your systems be consistent. Let your systems be run and run efficiently and effectively. You will no longer be haphazard. You will not be, you will not be blown by every wind that comes, but you will be run by systems. No man will just wake up and on a whim shift the land in a direction that it shouldn't go. No, no group of people would rise up again and pull the land in a direction she's not supposed to go. We decree that you're not run by the whims and caprices of men. We decree that you are run by systems that are established. Systems that are established upon the equity of the word of God. Systems that are established upon the power and the life in the word of God. Systems that are established upon the principles of the word of God. We decree concerning you, Nigeria, you are systemized. You are systemized. We decree that you are aligning in the name of Jesus. In the book of Joshua chapter 9, verse 3 to 14, the Bible tells us that the Gibeonites came and, and they made a treaty with Israel. When they saw the direction that other nations were going, they became smart. They said, if we wait, we're going to end up like the other nations. We're going to be destroyed by Israel. We're going to be swallowed up by Israel. So they, they, they decided to align themselves with Israel instead of against Israel. And they, they came with subtlety and they got Israel to sign a treaty with them. Fast forward to Joshua chapter 10, verse 5 to 8. Some nations, five of them gathered together and came against Gibeon. What did Gibeon do? Gibeon didn't raise a finger. Gibeon, Gibeon called out to Israel. We are in alignment with you. We are in a treaty with you. Come to our aid. And Israel had to rise. 
on behalf of Gibeon and go and fight those five kings. So Nigeria, we speak to you that you begin to align. You begin to strategize. You begin to find the people that God has sent to you, your own people, and you begin to align with them such that when there are challenges, there are people to rise up on your behalf. We decree that individuals are aligning in Nigeria. Individuals are aligning to the purposes of God. Individuals are aligning in cooperation with the cause of God concerning Nigeria. We decree that private and public leaders are aligning. Lika, Sopradi, Kashaba, Baba, no more tangible movements, no more, no more, no more directionless movement. Oh Lord, let us not be like an octopus wearing roller skates. Plenty of movement, but no progress. In the name of Jesus, we decree that private and public leaders are aligning. We decree that individuals are aligning. We decree that government officials are aligning. We decree that spiritual leaders are aligning. We decree that the nation as a whole is aligning in the name of Jesus. We are aligning towards righteousness. We are aligning towards the fear of God. We are aligning against threats from within and from without. We are aligning in humility and integrity, oh God. We are aligning for spiritual revival. We dispel the darkness. We push back the darkness. We dispel the darkness over Nigeria and we push you back by the light of the Almighty, by the life of the Almighty, by the presence of the Almighty. We invoke the presence of God over Nigeria fresh and new, oh God. You said we should behold that you're doing a new thing, Lord. Let that new thing show forth, oh God. Let new life spring forth in Nigeria, oh God. Let new life spring forth in Nigeria. Where there's been death, let there be life. Where there's been darkness, let there be light. Where there's been lack, let there be plenty, oh God. Where there's been sickness, let there be healing and health, oh God. Where there has been, oh God, confusion, let direction come, oh God. Where there's been fear and torment, let courage, oh God, come. Let boldness come. In the name of Jesus, we speak your life again and again and again over Nigeria. We decree over you, Nigeria. Align, adjust. Align, adjust. Align, adjust. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I want to end the session by singing a hymn, a powerful hymn, and it's um, from the Sacred Songs and Solos, hymn 1094, and it says, A Christian band from far and near, we meet to learn of Jesus here, to read his word, whose every line is filled with hope and joy divine. May our endeavor band, now gathered in his name, united heart and hand, go forth to spread his fame, then firmly let us stand for God and native land and pray that he may bless and keep our Christian band. We gather here where all may sing glad songs of praise to Christ our King, where youthful hearts may find the way that leads to life an endless day. May our endeavor band, now gathered in his name, united heart and hand, go forth to spread his fame, then firmly let us stand for God and native land, and pray that he may bless and keep a Christian band. The master's work, will still pursue and hear again a pledge renew to follow him to trust his love to gathered home with him above May our endeavor band, now gathered in his name, united heart and hand, go forth to spread his fame, then firmly let us stand for God and native land, and pray that he may bless and keep a Christian band. Happy birthday, FD. May the Lord cause all that you have dreamt concerning this land 
to manifest in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, my. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, woman of God. Thank you so much for that incredible pinpointed apostolic prayers, alignment and adjustment. And that is so powerful. That is so powerful. Because I believe very strongly that what we need as a nation is coming together, is united people, aligning in purpose, aligning in vision, aligning in mission, aligning in values. And as we do this as one people, with one voice, with one vision and one purpose, nothing will be impossible for us. And together as one people, I ask, let us pray to the God of creation. O oh God of creation, direct our noble cause. Guide our leaders right. Help our youth the truth to know. In love and honesty to grow. And leaving just and true. Great lofty heights attain. To build a nation. Where peace and justice shall reign. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now that we have prayed to the God of creation. Who has laid the foundation of our nation. Can we also then make a pledge to our country, Nigeria, with a heart of integrity? I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory. So help me, God. So help us, God. So help us, God. And in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Father, we call forth the day of salvation tonight. Help us, Lord. We lift up our eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh our help? Our help cometh from the Lord who maketh the heavens and the earth. So help us, Lord. So help us, Lord. It is to your advantage that I go. For if I do not go, then the helper cannot come. But when he does come, the spirit of truth he will comfort and help you. So help us, God. So help us, God. Our helper, oh. Our helper, oh. Our helper. There is something that makes us Drumming to your presence, our helper, our helper, our helper, our helper, our helper. There is something that makes us come into your presence. What has made us come into your presence tonight is an instruction from you. You said, give me 50 days. Father Lord, we have come in obedience to your word. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help our nation. Help our generation to be empowered, to be motivated to be stirred up, to operate with natural excellence. Help us, Lord. And as you do, Lord, we ask that you will bless Nigeria. We call the blessings of God upon this nation seven times. 
seven being the number of completion and perfection. And we ask that as we proclaim the blessings of God over this nation, let the wind of blessings just cover every sector of this nation. Let it cover every sector of our economy, of our society, of our governance, every sector. Let it cover Nigerians in Nigeria and Nigerians beyond the shores of this nation in the name of Jesus. Let the wind of blessings that will come as we declare God bless Nigeria, let it come on everyone who is worshiping with us tonight, whether they are Nigerians or not. Let the blessing of Nigeria locate them tonight. Lord, do what only you can do, that impossible miracle, even as we bless our nation tonight. Let's go. God bless Nigeria. 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 God bless Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Whew. And this brings to a completion one of the most beautiful nights that we have had on this journey. It's just truly an amazing night. The 23rd night of worship and prayers and blessings of others nation. I don't know if anybody just felt the purity of that worship, the power of that worship tonight. It's like it should never have ended. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to the anointed and appointed woman of God, a true apostle unto the nations, Pastor Christy Baturi Obefo, the president of Sinequanum Ministries, right there in Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. And God bless, God, God bless, Oreolua Clark in a way that no man can describe. I see your voice going beyond the borders of this nation. I see people all over the world rising in at the sound of your voice in the worship of our God. Greatness rests upon your gifts. Global renown rests upon your gift tonight. I see borders melting before you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said to her, I said, can you live in our house? <laughs> I'm sure many of you feel that way. I won't be surprised that many of you are going to go back and just replay and replay and replay. Please understand there is no time, space or distance in the spirit. Every time you replay this, the presence of God will literally invade your home. And God said something to me as we were worshiping. He says, I'm dealing with three things tonight by reason of this worship. The first one he said was, I'm dealing with death. D-E-A-T-H. The second one he said was, I'm dealing with debt. D-E-B-E. And he said, the third one is, I am taking you to the depth, D-E-P-T-H. So God is dealing with debt. And tonight I saw chains broken, yokes lifted, burdens removed, debt cancellation. Please understand, it is one of the many favors and graces of God, especially in the year of Jubilee. Debt is canceled in the year of Jubilee. And I'm saying because you have entered into that which the Lord had purposed for tonight, I promise you, impossible miracles of debt cancellation will be heard from across the world, even by the reason of the, tonight's worship. Now, the second one is death. 
God has dealt with a God has dealt a deadly blow to the spirit of death that has in a way pronounced an, an appointment with death. And whether it's spiritual death, tonight has come to an end, life has come. The spirit of life and life in more in abundance or life more abundantly is what was released tonight in the place of worship. So the death of many marriages has been truncated and love is being reintroduced. You will see in the coming days and weeks and months remarriages of, of divorcees because of what the Lord has done tonight. Separated homes will be reunited again because the death of homes has been dealt a death blow. Businesses that were meant to go bankrupt will find a breakthrough tonight. Careers that people have given up on, but that they, I, there's no point in looking for a job again. Careers will realize, arise again. But also death in the physical body has been truncated. Disease, terminal diseases have been healed tonight. And I believe with all my heart, testimonies are coming forth. But then the last thing is that God is taken up to the depth and the depth is where hidden riches and, and, and in secret places are located. And their ideas of what has not been known before will be found. Through revelation, we are going to come into what is called the frontiers of possibilities in business. The new Ubers, the next, the next Googles, the next the next companies that will lead the wave to the future are being, are being founded tonight through ideas and grace. Remember, death is canceled tonight. Debt is settled tonight. And we're going into the debt to receive the treasures. Oh, Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise, oh God. We receive, we receive the manifestation of all that you have spoken to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whew. All right. So, well, welcome to day 24 of our 50 night assignment. And tonight at 11 p.m., especially this day, Thursday, the 15th of April, we will have two special people in the house. Leading us in worship is someone that many people love. We love him. We love his songs. We love his ministration. We love his worship spirit. Somebody will be excited to know that Mayro is going to be in the house. Mayro is going to be leading us um, in, in worship. And you guys love Mayro. I say he's just amazing, amazing, amazing man of God and a minister of the Most High God. And following immediately after Mayores' uh, uh, worship will be the powerful, um, insightful prayers of the CEO of Lighthouse Group, Mrs. Remy Odusi. She is so deep into the heart of the Lord and she will speak prophetically over this nation tomorrow. So I want you to do everything you can to make sure that later tonight, 11 p.m. West African time tonight, you want to make sure that you join us for the 24th night of worship. And we would have the ministration of Mayro and Mrs. Remy Odunsi. So please make sure that you make that happen. All right. And just as a reminder, it's just two more days, two more days to the beginning of a very special speaker's corner program happening this weekend, Saturday the 17th and Sunday the 18th of April. And the theme of this speaker's corner is becoming a world-class speaker and a globally respected voice of influence. Oh my God. Listen, everyone has a voice and your voice is not to describe, your voice is to construct. Your voice is not to, to sustain, your voice is to create to change and when you talk about things you you keep them the way they are but when you speak to things you change them and so i we would like you to join us this weekend to know how to use the voice that god has given you and to help to you to become a global speaker 
and a globally respected voice of influence, um, you, we have four incredible leaders in the global space. Number one, we have Patricia Omokwi, all the way from the United States. And she would be speaking to us about how to find your voice and articulate your message to the world. That will happen between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Saturday, the 17th of April. So don't make sure you don't forget to join that. And then later in the evening between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m., we have one of the found, let's call it the founding fathers of the brand sector in Nigeria, Charles Otuda. And he's going to be coming to speak to us about how to build a global brand and a, uh, as a, as a world-class speaker. And then on Sunday, between the hours of 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., we are going all the way to South Africa <laughs> and bringing a truly global speaker, someone who has spoken literally, he's in demand all across the world. His name is Vusi Tebankoyo. He's, been, he's won all the different awards that have been won in this industry. And he's coming to speak to us about how to earn in different and multiple currencies as a global speaker. And then to end the night, there will be the earthquake, the ruckus himself. Between the hours of 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Sunday the 18th, you will have Kunle Shoryon, and he will come and, in a way, deconstruct and reconstruct our mindset about what it takes to be a world-class speaker and a global voice of influence. So you want to do whatever it is that you have to do. Make sure you do it before 4 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. And make sure that you postpone everything else that needs to be done until after 9 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, because you don't want to miss a moment of this. And to make sure that you are in the room so that you can ask questions directly and all that, please make sure you register to attend, even though this is my gift to you and their gift to me. So you're not paying anything for it. Admission is free. I hate the word free, but it is free. But this is what happens. You must please register. And to register, all you have to do is go to www fdat50.com slash speakers www.fdat50.com slash speakers that's www.fdat50.com slash speakers and if you have any testimonies from tonight and I do expect multiple testimonies from tonight we would like to be able to harvest those testimonies and give thanks to our God. And so please send those testimonies to testimonies at fdat50.com. That's testimonies at fdat50.com. That's testimonies at fdat50.com. And if you'd like us to, to raise up a prayer point for, for you or someone you love over anything that is especially something that is, you know that only God can do this, then please send those prayer points to prayers at fdat50.com. That's prayers at fdat50.com. My, 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 my. So before you run off tonight and see you at 11 o'clock, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Philadrotoe TV. And please put us on the notification button so that you can know when we go live tomorrow. You don't want to miss Mero essay. You just don't want to miss him. And you definitely don't want to miss our prayers with Mrs. Remy Odunsi. Remember to please invite someone um, tomorrow. Don't keep this all to yourself. Don't be a container, be a channel. Okay, make sure that you invite someone. And uh, let's see God do the impossible that he promised us. And I have a very special request tonight as I get Oreolua Park to come back and, and lead us in our national anthem, the second stanza, um, and any other thing that she wants to do. Hallelujah, we bless God for an awesome night, amen. Anywhere you are, can you just sing along with me? Second stanza. Oh, God of...
Okay, can we sing this song together? Worship. 